Hey guys, Southeast Softwash here, Saturday, June the 28th. I'm up here at the shop doing a little bit of work and I thought I would bring you guys along for the ride today. We're gonna be going across town a couple miles to a commercial building. It used to be a fried chicken restaurant, a really good one. Hate it that they went out of business uh, three or four years ago. But the building has a lot of organic growth on the side of it. So it's gonna make a really good before and after. Kind of wanted to get in, uh, get you guys in on that and let you see the process. We don't have a ton of commercial like stucco drive it type material in our area. So when I see them and they're dirty, I kind of want to capitalize on at least getting some footage out of it. We've got one of our tandem axle trailers here that's ready to go. This one will actually be leaving out of here Monday morning. So while I've got it, I'm going to take it with me. I've got it hooked up to my truck and uh, we're going to go over here and clean a little bit. So uh, we've got a little bit of bleach in the bleach tank. We've got 50 gallons in the water tank. Uh, put a little bit of our soap. This is our stuff right here. Southern Draw in the surfactant tank. Guys, I'm not a salesman, uh, but this is some excellent stuff. I'm really proud of this stuff. So if you need some, I'll put a link in the description below. It works tremendous as a surfactant. Just kind of a multi-purpose soap. Uh, it'll help the SH stick to the surface. It'll also help a little bit with the cleaning action. So we're hooked up. We're ready to go. I've transferred over some bleach and uh, we'll cut right here run across town. I'm going to get one of my youngins to help kind of hold the camera and uh, we'll do a little bit of footage for you guys. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're out here on location. It's kind of a back street. Main street is just a block that way. And on the back side over here, we've got some businesses. Now this is the property that I was talking about. You see all the organic growth here on the side of the building. So probably what I'm going to do is try to set my phone up to do a time lapse for you if I can get it to stay. Uh, lots of black organic growth on this stucco, right? So things that we would need to be watching out for, uh, all this electrical, very dangerous. You got to be really careful around that stuff. Uh, the rest of this is pretty straightforward. There's not anything else that I see that kind of jumps out at me other than the electrical panel right there. Um, but a lot of organic growth on this building. So the reason that this stuff is so prominent, um, the whole building is really dirty, but it's not that bad on the, you know, like from here up, it's not that bad. From there down, it is bad because what's happening is the rain is coming off of the gutter or the lack of the gutter. It's hitting and splashing up onto the building. So it's keeping this wet when it rains and it's just providing enough moisture for the uh, organics to grow with. So let me set the phone up, try to get everything rigged up here. Okay guys, we're back. Uh, pretty much got the building cleaned up, looking pretty good down through there. Uh, now I could have done this job a lot quicker if I'd fired up the pressure washer, got out the ball valve and knocked a lot of that big stuff off. In the time lapse, you may see about halfway through it, what I do is I flip my soft wash system back to water only. And I go down through here and knock kind of the biggest thick stuff off. And then we go back and put another coat. This job took several coats because it was really nasty. And the thing about stucco and porous surfaces like that, there's so many nooks and crannies for that organic growth to really grab into. A lot of times you're gonna have to put multiple coats. So I definitely could have done this job quicker, but part of today is I wanted to see just how I could clean this with only the 12 volt system and we got it clean. Now it looks, it looks really good. Probably what I would do is go back uh, before I leave and just put one more final coat on there, about 3%, and, uh, and just leave it. And uh, that'll lighten up a little bit of that that's still residual down there at the bottom. But honestly, it's, uh, it's about 99% there. So we're gonna roll up some hoses and get out of here. Thank you guys for coming along for the ride. Much improved stucco building here. And uh, we're gonna go back home. Got some stuff to do this afternoon. We'll check in with you guys later.